Give me a great game, buddy. Hey, buddy! <laughs> Oh, nice catch. Ready three, take three, steady three. Oh, oh no. The network's losing our signal. What's going on? Get it back. Get it back. Mike, we need you in here. What's the problem, Andrew? The network has lost our feed. Okay, it's probably the DVS, I'll get it. Okay. We run the only broadcast technology program in Canada, so it's, and it's been running for 35 years. Broadcast industry has people that work in front of the camera, perhaps reading the news, behind the camera. We do something different. Our, our people kind of work inside the camera. Broadcast technology is what makes the, the whole broadcast industry work. What sets a broadcast technology graduate apart from somebody who is just an electronics technician is the specific training in the broadcast technology. It's an electronics-based program, but it specifically focuses on the broadcast technology, the stuff that's used to get that signal from the studio to your home. They're going to, when something goes wrong, hopefully be able to help the people out uh, in servicing that equipment or installing it, or hooking a lot of things together to make a major event happen, such as a Grey Cup here in Canada. With broadcast technology then, we start to emphasize what particular circuits we need to move video, audio, data, and so it, it gets right into the insides of cameras, microwaves, satellites. The TV cameras, the microphones, the loudspeakers, and all of the equipment that's used in a broadcasting facility is something that we teach about. We specialize in the broadcast field. When something goes wrong and all of a sudden the audio isn't reaching where it should, how do we quickly uh, discover what's wrong and solve that problem? The workarounds to get something back in a hurry. The broadcast tech has to be somewhat familiar with just about anything in the station technical. VCRs, cameras, just about anything. You will specialize more into uh, specific areas like production engineering or, or um, uh, transmitters or graphics, that type of thing. You'll evaluate equipment, you'll test it, you will find out what limits it has, you will install it, you will service it, and then you will rescue the people that use it when something goes wrong. It tends to be very technically oriented and uh, I think rewarding when you can come up to a piece of gear that isn't working and do the magic touch and get it going. Okay, that should be good. All right. There you go. Thanks a lot, man. What would I do without you? And this program, in the 30-some years that it's been operating, has had an excellent record of student employment and student satisfaction. People call us back after several years in the industry and say how much they appreciated their SAIT training and how well it adapted them for the industry that they started working in. Many of the potential employers out there will call SAIT and say they need somebody. We have people coming as early as February to interview the students for potential hire. CFCN supports the uh, SAIT broadcast technology uh, course and have hired a number of people. Most all of our technicians were graduates or have been graduates of the, uh, of the SAIT course. We have students who are working in radio radio stations all over uh, North America, television stations, post-production houses from the uh, high, highest end post-production houses that are working in the motion picture industry. You travel a lot, right? you're on the road a lot, and you gotta like that. I, I enjoy it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's very varied, like you're always doing something different, you're in different locations, and you know, new challenges every time you go to work, so it's, it's great. We have students working in transmitter opportunities where they're working on mountaintops, working with the equipment that uh, transmits the signal.
Our broadcast industry is about to change. It's going to be the biggest change our industry has seen in 50 years. We added color to television in 1953, and now we're going to add high definition. The television stations have to do major changes. An immense amount of infrastructure has to go in to handle this high definition. They need people to do it. They need new people trained on the new technology to do it. We need people to come into our program and fill these positions and bring Canada into this exciting change. Okay, take two. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Told you I had the magic touch. <laughs> it's something that once you've done it a couple of times, you just, it gets in your blood. You just love the industry.